Well, it is certainly the event that everyone is talking about today, and that is the total solar eclipse. The view here from Clemson, South Carolina. Tens of thousands of people watched the eclipse together and took part in a major science project. And Channel 2 meteorologist Brian Monahan continues our live Team 2 coverage now from Clemson. Brian. Justin, we heard lots of oohs and ahs as we hit that two and a half minutes of totality a little bit after 2.30 in the afternoon here at Clemson. Some of the most dramatic pictures, though, of the event could actually come just from behind this stage that they're tearing down right now. Two weather balloons. Well, they had a chance to view the eclipse from 100,000 feet above the ground. Warren Bolden planned to be at today's solar eclipse since high school. He was not let down by the celestial show. It was one of the most beautiful moments I've ever seen in my life, you know. <laughs> I think I, I teared up a little bit. <laughs> it was almost as great as watching the Falcons get into the Super Bowl. A little before 2.40, as the moon blocked the sun's disk and the sun's corona, planets, and stars emerged, we saw a 360-degree twilight, a plane flying overhead through what looked like a nighttime sky. That darkness is the main thing. You will see, you could, it looked like twilight everywhere, and that breeze started coming in. While looking at that, that corona, just that goosebumps going all over your, your, um, your body. The moments of darkness fleeting. Just how quick it got dark, how quick it got dark, and how quick you know, it got bright again. That was, that was all pretty amazing. And amazing pictures were captured from more than 100,000 feet above Clemson, too. A team from the University of Maine was one of 55 groups nationwide that launched weather balloons carrying cameras set to view the eclipse from the edge of space, a much different view than that on the ground. It's, it's very different. So the first thing I'll say is that our camera is facing down towards Earth instead of up towards the eclipse itself. So Now those images will be studied more as teams learn to more learn or look to learn more about eclipses. There were actually 30 locations across the United States in the path of totality that were uh, launching those weather balloons and that camera from the sky. Live, in, live at Clemson University in South Carolina, Severe Weather Team 2 meteorologist Brian Monahan, Channel 2 Action News. Oh, thanks, Brian. So many great images are going to emerge from oh, yeah. projects such as that one. Brian, thank you. Now.